Yeah, they do that. I follow them. I follow them, and I see they have done a lot of things. So a person will just wake up, and at the Zuhur time, they give him to give advice, and he will be in the Alhamdulillah, he levi ahiyana ma'ana ma'amata. My brother, you just wake up, or what? <laughs> eh? So you see a person will just start with Alhamdulillah, he levi ahiyana ma'amata. You just finish eating, and you come and pray Zuhur. How come you say, Alhamdulillah, I pray in, I praise Allah who just wake it in and give us life back? Eh? So they always, sometimes people say that. And some people, they want to tell you that they know the dua. They, any kind of dua you can say, but it was not this kind of that. He will say, oh, Assalamu alaikum ya imam, in the, in the world. All this, uh, how are you, and so on. And then he will start his question, said, Alhamdulillah, he led ahiyana ba'ana ba'ana ta'ala. You only say this when you just get up from what? Your bed. This is different. Alhamdulillah, he the ahiyana ba'da ma'amata. Now we leave him with your dasya. And also, when you look at the dua, the reason why we want to, I want to mention again regarding the uh, uh, remembrance that we do the azkar in the morning, when you realize it's always asbahna, asbahna, asbahna. It means we find the morning we woke up in the morning, as bahna, when you look at here, he said, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as ala fitrat al-Islam. It means, we wake up with what? The fitrah. Okay, the, the, you know, nature of us being, what's, you know, submitting ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, if you wait until in the evening, at around nine, when the, the sun is already there, he said, as bahna, it doesn't make sense. In Arabic language, you know when you see a person uh, by the time of 10 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock, you say, Sabah al Khair. It doesn't work at that time. Sabah al Khair is, Sabah is the moment before the sun rises. So it's, it makes sense when the scholars they say that you have to say it before Shuruk. Shuruk is the moment the sun rises. So it's always good we keep in, in our mind all this to inshallah. May Allah make us understand. And he said, "Asbahana ala fitrat Islam." I think I already, we already did that, right? Hanifa Muslim wa ana min al, wa ma kaan min al mushrikin, right? He said, "What? Asbahana ala fitrat Islam." He said, "We have entered a new day, okay, in the morning, upon what the uh, the natural religion, because everybody, every child, newborn." Every newborn is calm with what that fitra that he belongs to Allah and he submit himself to, to his law. But it's the society, the family, if he find himself in among Muslim, alhamdulillah, Allah will guide him be Muslim. The, you know, the, the, the father and the mother will make him be in help him until he keep his what? His uh, origin, originality. It's origin. And if he find himself a, a majush, uh, some, someone who is worshipping something else, he will follow them. Until maybe the day Allah will open his heart towards Islam, then he will come back to Islam. Or when he find himself among the what? The Jewish, he will be a Jewish. A Christian, a Christian. So sometimes, uh, when you find yourself, you will have your Back, 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 grandfather, they, are, they were Muslim. Allah, you have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And always make it to Allah for those old people who has kept Islam for you. They have kept Islam for you. Or they have kept Islam for you. So you should always, when you make your dua, remember them. Because they have their shortcomings. Even in the Quran, Allah is showing us the way we should pray for people who come before us. He said, وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا تَفِرْ لَنَا And those good people, you know, Allah is talking about the Muhajirin, the Ansar. The people who left Makkah to Medina, and the Medina people who received them. He said, those who will come after them, they said, الَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا تَفِرْ لَنَا Ya Allah, forgive us. And Muslim always do have to ask Allah for forgiveness. 
And Ya Allah forgive our brothers who sabakuna bin iman who has preceded us in this Islam, in this Iman. And if you want to feel like sometimes when people are reading the story of uh, history of the companions and what happened between them, they fought. Everybody is holding one on truth, but it happened that Shaitan was around and they did fight and he was killing all of them. Until now, you're not going to blame when you read the book of history, Sira, and then you came across or you come across, you know, all those kind of things. Don't let your heart. Okay, hate or hold any kind of anger towards any of the Sahaba. Be careful. It is haram. So Allah is showing us the dua. And Ya Allah, wa la taj'al fi qulubina wa ghillan lilladhina amu. Ya Allah, do not even let us, you know, don't, don't let anything that we have, any God against any Muslim, any mu'min. And the first mu'min we know is the, the Sahaba. The reason why if any religion will come and tell you that to hold God or you know go against or show animosity towards a such a companions, stay away from, from that kind of a movement. Because we have a lot of movement who claim they are Muslim, but they insult our mother, the most beloved wife, the most beloved one in the sight of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, among his wife, Aisha Radiallahu Anha. Until for them, if a person give the name of Aisha to his of his daughter, it is like he, he gave Yaqbillah a name of what dog to his child. So may Allah protect us from that. And I he, you know we don't support why it is the people of Shia. May Allah protect us from them. And may Allah guide the majority of them to Islam. Those who are not going to be you know, guided, may Allah, may Allah deal with them. Because they're really dangerous. And today they are entering, especially everywhere, in the villages in, uh, in our countries. They show money, building big, a very beautiful uh, mosque. And every year they will bring you cows. Since we love meat, our people will fall in charge. And also some imams who study perfectly because of money. You see, you know, amount of money they put in your pocket. But since you have been Sunni, Sunni, you know, nearly you have water to drink. But these people bring, uh, you know, an amount of money. You have money. So if you follow your, your belly, you will follow them. So it's a very, a, you know, a, a very big trial. May Allah save all of us. So uh, we don't support to hold any God, any animosity towards any, even Muslim, a simple Muslim is not right for you to even, you know, hold anything against, against a Muslim. A single Muslim. Who live in New York here, in Manhattan, whatever he is, he is Muslim. He said, "Allah, he you don't support to hate." So we don't talk of you know about someone who brought Islam for you, who who were ready to even be killed because of Islam. Then you gonna say that you are better than that person until you would hate them? Subhanallah. So, you know, sleeping in your lofty uh, uh, bed and you will eat. Come back and yawning, you know, wake up and yawn, yawn, and you will take a, a, you know, orange juice and drink, and you say that you hate Abu Bakr, Who are you? Oh, may Allah give us Iman. So we're not supposed to hold any God against any, any Muslim. Uh, we don't talk about Sahaba even. Only Sahaba is even in a very big sin. May Allah protect us. So we make, we make him dua. We say, Wa ala kalimat ala fitrat al Islam, asbahana ala fitrat al Islam, wa ala kalimat al ikhlas. You are asking Allah, Ya Allah, we, we wake up in the, uh, on the what? On the natural religion of Islam, okay? And then what? The word of sincere devotion to you. We devote ourselves to you, we submit ourselves to you. Wa ala kalimat al ikhlas. We know that ikhlas is sincerity, right? So, wa ala kalimat al ikhlas, which is what? La ilaha illallah. وعلى دين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى بلا تابينا إبراهيم حنيفا مسلما وما كان من المشركين. He said, anyone who said this dua, okay, when you say this in the evening, you should say, when you say evening, you say what? I'm saying instead of what? أصبحنا you say I'm saying when it is in the evening. 
amsayna wa amsal mulk lillahi rabbil alamin okay we end this day and so on and so on until you finish so the next of the askar is for you to say subhanallah wa bihamdihi how many times Hundred times. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. You say it hundred times in the morning. And also hundred times in the evening. Regarding Subhanallah wa bihamdi. You know that among the, the, the words, uh, the words that the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most beloved is what all this, uh, this kind of dua. We have the hadith where the Prophet said, uh, there are two kalimat. Uh, the kalimat they are so you know, uh, light on the tongue, but they are so heavy on the scales, and they must be loved in the sight of Allah. And he says, Subhanallah, wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah, ya Azim. So, you know, a brother, you know, a Muslim, when you wake up, try your best to say it in the morning. Uh, may Allah make us, uh, you know, benefit from this. He says, Whoever recites this 100 times in the morning and in the evening, will not be surpassed on the day of resurrection by anyone having, you know, uh, it, this is uh, when it comes to La ilaha illallah. Okay? Is there anyone who said it in the morning or in the evening, no one will come with good deed better than what? But the better than him, except someone who did more than that. And this is Bukhari and Muslim. The next one is what? La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la. له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير. Okay. So the one we say uh, the hadith is what مقالة هذه تمرة هنا يسبي وهنا يمسي لم يأتي أحد يوم القيامة بأفضل مما جاء بي إلى أحد قال مثل ما قال أو زاد عليه. So it means when he says سبحان الله وبحمده hundred times in the morning, hundred times in the evening, no one will come the day of قيامة who has good deed more better than you. More than you, except someone who say something similar or add more. Okay, but the next one is what? La ilaha illallah, and this is the 18 of the askar in the morning. So you have a lot of askar that we have, but this one in the in the small book, this small book, and this is the 18, the number 18. La ilaha illallah, wa ala kulli shayin kala, la mulku, wa la hamdu, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. You say it what? Ten times or more than one or you say it once. It's not probably if you can say it, all right. And anyone, uh, he said, he said, "Anna man qala ha hina yusbi wa hina yumsi kan lahu adu raqaba min walid Ismail wa kuti ba lahu ashr hasanat wa kuta anhu ashr sayyad wa rafa lahu ashr darajat wa kana fi hirz min shaitan hatta yumsi." Anyone who said it ten times or one, okay, the person will come, and the Makala will come, and then he will have the reward of someone who freed slaves of what? Slaves among the children of Ismail. Alright? And it will be written for him like he did what? Ten good actions. And it will, they will erase, Allah will erase, you know, uh, like 10 of his what? Sins, mistakes. And then Allah will elevate him for like uh, 10 degree, like 10 darajat. Alright? Like 10, 10, 10, you know, 10 times in the, uh, in the top. If you are on the first floor, you will be in the 10th tenth, tenth floor. The person will be saved from shaitan until the person will get to eat to the evening. You got it? He said, La ilaha illallah, the another one is La ilaha illallah, Allah Rashi, Kalo Mulku, Alhamdulillah, Kul Shayn Qadir, Mi'a Tamar Rata Ida Asbah. For you to say La ilaha illallah, the same La ilaha illallah, Wahdahu La Shayn Qadir, Lahu Al Mulku, Walau Alhamdulillah, Wala Kul Shayn Qadir, hundred times. Wajahil Hadith. And this is a Sahabi hadith who by Abu Huraira. It's Abu Huraira who reported the hadith. He said, "Anna man qala ha bi ata marrat fi yom kana talabu adul ashar rika." It is like the person okay free ten slaves. Wa kuti balabu mi ata hasan. He will have a hundred of what good deed, and then hundred of what 
بعد دين ذات البيئين وكان غضب حيضا من الشيطان يوم ذلك حتى ينسي ولم يأتي أحد بأفضل مما جاء به إلا أحد إلا أحد وإلا أحد عمل أكثر من ذلك No one will come better than him who is good did better than him except someone also who did similarly uh, something like that or add more upon that. So a Muslim, you know, always have to always renew your your, your Islam of la ilaha illallah. You always say la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. Instead of biting or listening to something that is useless, especially nowadays with our phones. You're going to be busy with something that doesn't even help you. Until your child will even, you will lose your child, you know, your, your battle. Oh, my phone, oh, Imam, do you have a charger? You know, why you use it already for what? Use it as well. It's not right. Remember, especially if we are always in the masjid also. You remember, anytime you are using the energy of the masjid, of the ummah, you have to use it for goodness. There was a time, Umar radiallahu anhu, The moment he was a khalif, the moment he was what? Khalif. Khalif to a Muslim. He was the leader of the Muslim. Okay? Uh, he was counting the money of what? The zakah. Then one of the sahaba would say, Assalamu alaikum. And because he was using the what? The lamp. And then he used the, uh, the fuel that he put in the lamp. Is the money of the zakat, the money of the ummah he put in, he used to buy it, bought it and then put in the lamp. So someone he was using it, because it's normal, he's using it and counted the money of the ummah. There's no problem with that. So someone is saying assalamu alaikum, and he say wa alaikum salam, and you know they are not like that. They are not like us. When he get, before even you enter, you already, before even you say salam alaikum, you already enter in your person before you say salam alaikum. You just open the door and you enter like that before. Oh, salam alaikum. It's not right. A Muslim, you always have to salam alaikum. You wait. Then you ask permission. You say salam, then you ask permission. Can I come in? Then you, if he say yes, you go in. So he says, salam alaikum. Ya Khalilullah. Uh, ya Khalifatul Khalifat Muslimin. He say, Ya Umar. And then, wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Who is there? And then he said the name and he asked him, oh, what do you want? Did you come for uh, the Ummah problems or you come for your own personal problem? And he said, I came just for my personal problem. Then Umar radiallahu anhu, he what? He, he, stand, he turned off the, the land. So the Sahabi asked him, why you do that? He said, okay, this is uh, the money of the, the Ummah. I'm not going to use it for our own business. But look at us today. These people are looking for 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 gender, and we claim we use we 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 looking for gender also. May Allah have mercy upon us, brothers. It's so scary when you hear when you listen to their story. Allah, you look at them. Between them and us, it's like being in the Masjid of Al-Baghdad. It's like between the West and what the East. Subhanallah. When I did I. When I was young, I listened to it, I was like, huh? So is it reached that level? Yes, it reached. reach. You know, may Allah have mercy upon us and forgive us our shortcomings. We are weak, but yeah, Allah, don't leave us for, with our own and, you know, pour our upon us your mercy and grant us gentle. If it's not because he said, everybody, you know, all the people who enter gentle because of his mercy, We always have to always reject our name from the, the people of Jannah. Because of the character we have. Allah. Simple name. He turned off so that someone he doesn't want Allah to judge him about. By his time even, he was taking care of the, the, the land until even the, 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 the route or the, uh, the way where the animals are using to go, eat and come back. He went and fixed it because he said he doesn't want the animal complain the door of Qiyama. One animal who will go and break his leg because the road is not right, he will go and complain the door of Qiyama on, on his law, seeing that, oh, is one day uh, uh, 
Umar was a leader, that the rock, the rock was, was bad, then I broke my leg. Even the animal, he finished with human being, he is doing with the animals here. Look at us how we treat the animals. Uh, we treat the, we even, you know, be, be so, uh, subhanallah, cruel towards the animals. Huh? You see the animal, it, it doesn't, they, 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 they don't do anything to you, you chase them, beat them. May Allah have mercy upon us for this. So, uh, you say it, and then Hatta Yunusi wa lam yad ahadam bi afdal min maja bihi la ahadul amalun atfam min dhali. I said someone who did, who said la ilahi Allah more than you, he will come uh, with a lot of reward more than you. Another one is subhanallah wa bihamdi, ala da khalqi, wa rida wa nafsihi, wa zina ta'arsihi, wa bidada kalimah. You say it three times uh, when you when you woke up, so you say it. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. Six hours. Hmm? Six hours. Six hours. Another hadith. What? What? He said what? He said what? I know that is of course. I'm just looking at the explanation of the shaykh here. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, ala da khalqihi, wa rida wa rasihi, wa zina ta arshihi, wa mida da kalimati. It, it has said, let me see the meaning of this. He said, Glory is to Allah and praise is to Him, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the multitude of what? His creation, and by His pleasure, by the way of His throne, and by the extent of His, his world. Recite it three times, uh, three times in the morning, in, uh, recite it three times in Arabic upon rising in the morning. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the hadith is reported in what? Sahihi, Sahihi Muslim. What's your hadith? Huh? What is the hadith? Muhammad Rasulullah est parti de la terre au début et il a tourné la même position et il a dit euh, on était plus dix euh, de Duhala et le hadith est dit que le Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam est parti de la terre de l'Ithihami et il a dit qu'il est parti de la terre ثم رجع بعد أن أضحى وأضحى أضحى وهي جالسة فقال ماذا لدي على الحال التي فارقتك عليها قد نام قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لقد قلت بعدك أربع كلمات ثلاث مرات لو وزنت بها قلت منذ اليوم لو زنت لو زنتهن لوزنتهن قوله في مسجدها وقيل مثلها في أنها لا تنفض وقيل في ثواء والمدان هنا مصدر لمعنى المدان ما مدد وهو ما كسرت به الأشياء هي لبوفا صلى الله عليه وسلم when they finish when they finish praying subuh he saw a girl it means that it's a a a girl you know who's young sitting down making what a big one making what making zikr, sitting down in one in that place. And he was, the person who was that sitting until he came back the time of Doha. And the Prophet said, are, are you still here? Say yes. And the Prophet told him, told, told her, if you have said four words, it will be enough for you and it will be heavy on your skirt. Which is what SubhanAllah for Bihamdi, Ala al Khalqi, Walid wa Nafsi, wa Zinat al Arshi, Walid al Kalimat. So this you say it in the morning three times, inshallah. And the 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 hadith or the askar twenty one. Allahumma inni asaluka ilma nafiyan, wa rizqan tayyiban, wa amal mutaqabbal. When you wake up in the morning, morning askar, you say it, and you are asking Allah to what to give you ilma nafiyan. Any knowledge that is what that will benefit you in this dunya and the hereafter. Okay, wa rizqan tayyiban, and also what the provision wealth that is what. That is pure, and then we amal mutaqabbal. All you know, an action that is what that will be accepted.
So if Allah bless you with this kind of Quran, you're not going to go and seek the knowledge that will never benefit you. You're not going to go and ask about something that will never benefit you. You will never go and, you know, try to know something that will never benefit you. Today, some people waste their time in something for years that would never benefit them to the end in this, in this world, even without the day of prayer. Uh, what is Kantayyima? Brother, if you don't have a very pure uh, wealth, if you don't get the Allah did not bless you with what? Pure wealth and wealth, there's no barakah in your life. And anything you do is always problems, problems. If we know the man who was struggling and then all what he has eat, the, the what the thing that they raised, they raised him with, it is not what? It is not pure. And what he was dressing also is not even pure. Okay? What he has drink, uh, eat that day, he has eat, you know, eat that day is not what? He has eaten that day is not what? Pure. So he raised his hand while he needed Allah's help. He was in, uh, in trouble. Normally when he say, Ya Allah, when, while you are traveling, you, are, you don't have any hope, and you say, Ya Allah, Allah will understand your call. But the Prophet Sallallahu said, all this is haram on him. How Allah will accept his call? There's no way. So a person, if you want to have your, you always uh, dua be accepted, make sure you always what? Eat what is what? What is pure. All right? If Allah did not help you with an action that Allah will accept, you will always go and waste your time and your energy with something that you're not going to get what? You're not going to get any reward. For example, of, of the people who are in Bidya, you will go and busy yourself with something that doesn't have anything to do with Islam, wasting your energy. At the end of the day, even you will get what? You will get sin. But at the end, you think you have done a lot of goodness, in the day of Qiyamah, you will be surprised. You will be The Zuna Allah said, uh, He said what? قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّيكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالًا الَّذِينَ ضَلَّ سَعَيُّهُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا May Allah protect us from that. You think you are doing good, oh, you come back from your exam and say, oh, I did 100%. And you think you, are good, you did good. Then the day of result, two zero, two big X. They will give you two big X, zero, zero, zero. And you say, huh? Say, yes. Because you miss the beginning, maybe, and you don't realize. It's more hurtful. The moment you think you have done good, and at the end you realize that you don't do anything, well, that's so hurtful. But someone who knows that ah, I don't do anything, they don't feel that in pain, like someone who is expecting to get a reward, but they never get a reward. So if Allah did not help you, if you make this dua that Allah accepts your dua, you will never go and busy yourself with something that Allah is not going to accept. It's like when we make dua. Second dua, you can make it to uh, 100, 100 days in Makkah inside the Kaaba, Allah is never accepted. But you can sit down in the middle of what? Times Square. If Allah help you with what? Something that He will accept, and then you raise your hand and you say it, He will accept it right away. The reason why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying that, Allahumma inni a'udhuka, and then He says, they say, Mina du'ai, la isa yamala. Min du'ai, Allah, I seek refuge in you from any kind of dua I will raise my hand that you're not going to accept. It's the same thing also, any action that you will do, then Allah is not going to accept. So you're asking Allah to help you, to give you any time you want to do an action, may Allah accept it. It means the action that is what? That has the two conditions. Al-Ikhlas or what? al mutaba It is sincerity and what? Going with the teachings of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when you see some people in the in the masjid, a very huge human being, saying, hu, 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 they think they are getting reward from that. You see, you realize that this is, subhanAllah, it's, it's, it's so sad. You see big men crawling like, you know, you know they are doing, you know, yeah, with their big abai in the masjid. Because he saw his shirt far away, he took off his, uh, shoes and starts crawling like he's doing sport to get you know the the uh the award that's a monkey 
a huge, a huge in this year, in a human being with a very beautiful beard. Mashallah. If you don't pay attention, if you always look down upon yourself, this kind of people you see them in around the Kaaba, you are about to pray and then you are ready to pray, you put them in front of you. Because you you know you, you are amazed. You see all the sign of a very good Muslim, mashallah. But they are the ones who go, go like dogs. Inside the Muslim. Some people even have dogs in the Muslim. You see a tall, very tall man who is jumping up and down like that. When you jump like that, you get to be what? So Jannah become a joke then. Jannah become a joke? Yeah, you know, may Allah protect us and guide the woman. May Allah guide the woman from the, to the right hand. And this is all that is shaitan. May Allah save us from shaitan. You know, I told you that, you know, I saw the video and then I was shocked and it's so funny. But it's, it's, you can be shocked. This man think he's on the right path. Around the Kaaba, you can hear the Muhammad of Makkah and Makkah, Ramadan, the Kaaba, Masjid al Haram, making the Allah Hoxinal, a Rabbana Allah Alham. But this man is making wudu in the air. And the, the student who saw him, you see, he's, the student who's recording him said, I, 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 you know, I know water. What is water? The man doesn't even acknowledge it. And it's not like it. He is doing wudu, like, he's, he's just going like that. Yeah. And there's no water. So the, the brothers are asking him, I'm going to water. I was shocked when I saw that. Yeah, when you see it, you will be shocked. How can a person can see a street with that point? On the air. Until he, he came to where he wanted to wash his, his feet, he took off his shoes. Like there is water there. And he's doing like that. And he finished. So the brother was like, touch, I know what, no water. The, the man does it now the look. So may Allah save us. Well, well, you will see a lot of things. So when you don't pay attention, you never be there in Mecca. You think everybody is the Arab, they know the deen, because they have all these things. You will follow some people, you know, they, they will lead you astray. The reason why my look of our parents, when they go there and they see stuff like that, they will come say that you guys are so too, too difficult. I saw an Arab reading Quran, you know, doing this, doing that. Huh? May Allah protect us. It doesn't mean even if it's the Arab, the Arab. It doesn't mean you know you take the part in you when you went there, you don't see Mahir reciting Quran beautifully. It is the one who is doing bad as you see. Huh? So the next du'a that we should say is what? Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayhi wa atamurra fil yawm. You say it in the morning, uh, the whole day, what? A uh, hundred times. You got it? You say, Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayhi. You ask Allah to forgive you a hundred times in the morning. If you can do it, so the evening is good. The next one, the twenty-third. أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق ثلاث مرات إذا أنفع. When you in the evening you say this word أن من قالها هنا يمسي ثلاث مرات لم تضره قمة تلك الليلة. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said what anyone who says أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق whoever recites it this three times in the evening will be protected from what insect stings. Right? Anything that that is like leavings that will harm you, it will never happen to you, inshallah. Uh, the next one, or we can say the last one, is what? You you say salat upon the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. God says you always have to know from where your, your blessing comes. Then if Allah put someone between you and the blessing that you got, Try to always be also uh, grateful to that person. You always have to show gratitude to the person. Right now, I'm here sitting down, and I don't know, I don't know one man. Maybe Haji uh, Kamoko uh, has a, you know, a nephew who come from far away. He is rich. Then he came and pray here, and then before he leave, he give him an envelope, and he gave me. 
uh, in a thousand dollars. And she's always say, Alhamdulillah, and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then at least in the morning, I call him and say, Oh, may Allah reward you and say salam and thank your, your nephew for me, for what he has done to me. It is always good to go down. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will not get this idiom except through him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is even commanded us to say, to send us, to ask Allah to send salat upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Until now, it's no you who send the salat upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You are saying what? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. You are asking, Ya yeah, Allah, you know, salli ala Muhammad. So it's good to say it ten times in the morning when you finish your asfar and say ten times also in the evening when you finish your, your asfar. The Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, anyone, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man salli alayya heena yusbihu ashra, wa heena yunsi ashra, adrabduhu shafa'ati yawm al-qiyam. There is a shafa'a, a lot of shafa'a, a lot of what? Uh, uh, the, what they call what? Intercession. The Prophet of Allah will intercede for, in, on your favor, the door of prayer. And it is a lot. There is what shafa'at al kubra where is the whole mankind that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will go and what? Intercede. So that what? The judgment start. Because people stand under the crown of their what? You know, uh, sweat and stuff. So everybody is scared. Where I am, where I am not. You know, when you already entered into an exam, okay, those who even know that, I know for the fact that 60% I'm going to fail. But if they say they're going to give you results and they still delay it, everybody has is already beaten up. But, but even the one who knows that he will fall, just, you know, give her the results so that everybody will rest. So the day of Qiyamah is the same thing, okay? Everybody will complain and no one can be, will be able to be close to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because all the prophet, the majority of the prophet, they will always say that my nafsi, nafsi. Go to the other one. I don't have that power to get closer to Allah. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ana laha, ana laha. Okay, I, I am the one who had that, that ab ability to go next to my Lord and ask for that. So here the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, if you say 10 times in the morning, 10 times in the evening, you deserve his what? You deserve his what? Help, uh, his, his uh, intercede, to intercede on your favor. But this, if you stay away from what? Shirk, always. Anyone who commits shirk, there's nothing that will help him. And also the people who always go against the, the son of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who bring, what's the name? Bid'ah, newly invented in Mata in Islam, they will never get that. Because even the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will see them, he will recognize them. That's my own. The moment they follow in the group to go to the Hawr, to go to the, that river, that water that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will give to some people, may Allah grant us that. The angels will come with their stick, beating up some group of people. Go, you are not a part of it. The Prophet will tell, Ya Rab, Ummati, Ummati. Ya Allah, my Lord, my, my, my people, my people, my own. And then it will say to him, You don't know what they have done if, uh, when, you, when you left them. They have great what? Newly invented matters. So may Allah protect us from that. And this is the end of what? The Adkar of Sabah al and all of us, inshallah, we should try our best to try to read it in the morning and in the evening. We have to try our best, inshallah. Download it in your app, in your phone, so that you can read it. It will protect you and it will bring you a lot of blessing. May Allah save us. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Inshallah, Allah, 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 Allah. Let's have faith for you. Let's have faith for you. Let's have faith for you. Let's have faith for you.